On this International Day of the Girl, let's turn to Malala. She showed everyone and she showed us her bravery. She was here in New York last night as we showed you with her father, her bravery in the face of incredible odds and inspiration to many. And Diane Sawyer is back with a preview of her exclusive hour tonight with a young Pakistani 16-year-old Malala taking her fight an inspiring and moving interview. I know you've spent so much time with her, and we've heard from her this past week. And we have to be, well, first of all, it's great to see you, Diane. Hello. It's always good to have you back here. <laughs> we have to be reminded, this has been an incredible year that this young woman has A year, has had. a year since yeah. she was shot, a miraculous recovery in the hospital with amazing things we'll be explaining to you tonight. But also, her step-by-step -step return, fearlessly, unbreakably, to the front lines of girls' education is something to behold. I always say, gather around you every child who ever complained about school, mm -hmm. and also anyone who has fear in their own life, and see what she does. <laughs> and I want to remind everybody how it happened a year ago, because she had become a force, and no one thought the Taliban would take on a child, and yet there she was on the school bus, the kids were singing, and here is what happened. October 2012, a group of schoolgirls in the Swat Valley in Pakistan are on their school bus singing. Suddenly, two men approach, one of them with a Colt 45. He climbs on the bus and asks this question, who is Malala? She doesn't remember what happened next, but her friend described the moment. She said, like, you said nothing and you were just for you were just holding my hand and you just squeezed my hand like you were just forcing it and you said nothing and she said like you just look at looked at the man like this then she said like then he uh, fired three three bullets and one hit you on the left side of, uh, of of my head she was shot in the head at point blank range and a year later a miraculous recovery and a new message for the world I think life is always dangerous. Some people get afraid of it. Some people don't go forward. But some people, if they want to achieve their goal, they have to go. And the courage is still there. It's, it's, it's telling me to move forward. She is able to express herself in such a way, but she's really up against quite a deal, even with fellow Muslim women. That's right. We're going to go out and remind you how entrenched they are, how s deeply they believe and ferociously the Taliban believe that she is trying to promote democracy and freedom, which cannot coexist with their radical Islam. And we also talk to women out there, and that's the biggest surprise of all, these women under what's called the niqab, their, their faces hidden except for their eyes, and they are going to try to explain to me why they oppose her. How can they oppose her? And we'll, we'll try to ask those questions probingly tonight. I heard a little bit of the exchange between you and that group. And people Sorry, are like, yeah, you it, her herself. We've been saying it, it's the International Day of the Girl. Mm -hmm. How fitting that Malala um, on, on this day. And she is so forward in speaking about what is so important. And That's, who she is. That is right. And you know, she is a child. She shows me her magic tricks oh. and she wants to know why I'm not double jointed and she's <laughs> trying to get me to practice. In so many ways, she is just a child turned gladiator. And she says, Who was going to speak up if I didn't? Mm -hmm. Here she is now. The movement has begun. And everybody at home, I think it leaves you soaring over the clouds to know that you can join and say, I am Malala too. And 31 million girls who've been silenced have a right to be heard. And it's so powerful when you hear all different everybody saying that. Well, Diane, always good to have you here with us. And we will be watching tonight. The hour-long special is tonight, Unbreakable, on 2020, 10, 9 Central. And Malala's autobiography is out this week as well, titled, I Am Malala.